Hi, welcome to You Can Do It. I'm your host, Chris, and today we're going to install this Moen Press and Mark. It's a towel holder. Um, so we're in this bathroom here, and we're going to show you how you can do this. All right, so we got this 24-inch towel holder. These are pretty slick because they come with everything, even a level. and the directions that we'll read to you and show you how you can do it okay so here's all your hardware we got some uh, sheetrock anchors right here we got the two wall plates that hold the towel rack they give you a little level to put on the bar and there's some little there's a little plastic ad or a uh, adhesive on the bottom to stick it on there so it doesn't roll off an allen wrench and four screws and then it has this little push stick you're probably wondering what this is you don't want to discard that because that works a tool that goes inside the the wedge anchor here when you oh when you close this and you stick it in the wall you push this guy in the center and it opens up the uh the anchor the wall anchor in the in the wall it actually helps place it so um, you will need a 5 16 drill bit to drill the hole so that you can insert this drywall anchor. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can find a stud. They give you four of these in case, you know, the thing's free aired in the wall and you can't hit a wall stud. These are pretty, these are pretty durable, but we're going to see if we can get at least one side in a stud and then use these sheetrock anchors. I got this stud magnet. It's just a magnet. You can use a stud finder if you'd like, but I like using the stud magnet because it finds the screws that hold the sheetrock to the stud. So I just have a piece of paper behind it so I don't mess up this fresh paint. And as soon as it pulls on a stud on a screw head, there it is. So I pretty much know that I'm right center over the stud right there. So from this point, I'm going to just kind of set this on there and see how it looks. If this is a good placement, if I was to hit a stud there and go over. All right, so you want to peel off the adhesive on the bottom of the, le the level. There's a little tiny strip on there. You can barely see it. You peel that off and then you stick the level right on the bar and then over here, at the arms here, you're gonna pull these caps off and you'll see underneath the cap, there's two black little dots right there. That's almost like a Sharpie. There's two Sharpie marks underneath there. It's pretty slick. So you pull both of those caps off. And ideally what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing level on the wall and then you're going to press the whole bar to the wall and it'll leave four black dots on where you're going to install your brackets. So we're not going to press it hard until we get the rack level. And there it is right there. And you're just going to press and maybe rock it back and forth a little bit. And there you go. There's four dots. You don't have to measure or anything. And that's basically where the screws are going to be installed, whether you're in a stud or you have to put the sheetrock uh, anchors in. Do you just put the bracket over those black dots?
we'll go over here and we'll see. There may be backing in the wall. We'll just test it with a screw to see before we drill a hole to install the plastic anchor. doesn't appear to have anything in the wall, so we'll go ahead and install the sheet lock anchor. Got a 5 16 drill. Squeeze the plastic together and insert it in the hole. You shouldn't have to really use a hammer. And since they are so close together, if you're using a hammer, you could potentially ruin. You don't want to hit it too hard if you do, because you could break out the piece there for the, the other sheetrock there. Then you take this tool, you stick it in the hole, and push it. And that opens up the butterfly in the back. Alright, so we're ready for the bracket. Now you'll notice that they gave you an Allen wrench. So you need to remove the plastic markers that are in the arms here. So there's a little Allen wrench and a screw. You just loosen that guy up. This guy just comes right out. We're going to go ahead and we're not going to tighten it up all the way. We're just going to snug it up to the wall. You want to hold the Allen wrench away from the sheetrock so you don't scratch it. You scratch your new paint job. All right, so there's that one. Do the same with this one. There you have it folks pretty simple and don't and remember you can do this thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video